Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashling, and welcome to another day of our 28 day Pilates summer reset. We have a full body class for you today. So all you need for today's class is yourself, a mat and a little bit of space. Make sure you do have some water nearby because it is going to be a little spicy. Um, but without further ado, let's just head on over and get to it. Okay, we're gonna start in a standing position, just hip width distance apart with the feet. You're gonna take a nice big deep breath in and reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. From here, taking a hold of your left wrist with your right hand, I want you to send your left hand further to the ceiling as you side bend now over to the right hand side, really stretching out through lateral body, keeping the hips as level and square as you possibly can. Breathing in here. Exhale to lift all the way back through center, swap the arms around, so right wrist with your left hand and side bend to the left. Inhale all the way back through center. Let's take it all the way over again to the opposite side. Reaching away with the left hand as you side bend to the right. Breathing in to return. And then we do the opposite. Right hand reaches all the way up as we side bend to the left. We're gonna take it all the way up towards the ceiling. I'm just gonna change my position so you can see better. All the way up towards the ceiling, taking a big deep breath in. Let's start our roll down, chin to chest rib cage and thoracic spine or back rounding towards the floor allowing the chest to fall forwards now opening up through the back of the tailbone as you send the hands down towards the ceiling really really nice we're going to send the arms about two-thirds of the way out onto the mat taking it into our downward dog position sending the heels down towards the floor nice and relaxed breath here standing ground through your fingertips and your palms pushing the heels down towards the backs of the mat from here, you're gonna lift all the way up on top of your tippy toes. We're gonna to round and spiral and ripple that spine forwards into our plank position. And we're gonna send it all the way back again to downward dog position, tailbone to the sky. Tippy toes, tuck the pubic bone underneath you, round the spine, ripple forwards, open into plank, tailbone to the ceiling, downward dog. Three more. Standing ground through the shoulders, finding that stability through your plank position. Heels grinding back towards the back of the mat. Two more. Really nice. Then our last one, we're gonna hold in our plank position. I'm sure you saw that one coming. <laughs> From here, we're gonna take it into really slow mountain climbers. We're gonna take left knee towards left elbow and we return. Right knee to right elbow and return. Now option to send knees down towards the floor here to half plank position. If you find full plank too difficult, really bringing those knees in as far as you can. Working down through those lower abdominals, standing ground through your palms, chest and shoulders nice and stable. Six more, five, well done, four, three, last two, and one. Keep standing in your plank, walk the hands into the center of the mat. From here, you're gonna reach your right hand to your left shoulder, reaching it out then in front of you, and all the way back down. Left to right, reach, return right to left, reach, return, left to right, reach, return. Good, you're gonna try and keep those hips nice and stable. You can widen the feet to the edges of the mat. Try not to allow too much shift through the pelvis itself or rocking generally through the body. Really trying to absorb as much of that energy through the center as we can. Six, five good job four three last two you got it last one excellent bring the knees all the way down find a child's pose position stretch out through those shoulders sinking the chest between the arms a little bit of heat to start off warming ourselves up and then from here tracking yourself back you're gonna send 
chest to the floor. Okay, in this position, we're just gonna work a little bit of our upper back. If you were in yesterday's class, <laughs> you might still be feeling it. So again, pubic bone, belly button slightly tucking up and underneath us. Hollow space underneath the front of the pelvis. Elbows are tucked to the sides of the rib cage and palms are under the shoulders. We're gonna take a nice big deep breath in and we're gonna to start to lift. Head, neck, shoulders and chest bone. Base of the rib cage is gonna stay composed and down onto the mat. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. You're gonna try and keep those shoulders down and back and away from your ears. Sliding the shoulder blades down towards the backs of the body, down towards your lower back. Even imagine that your shoulder blades are trying to slide down towards your bum muscles, down the back of that rib cage to allow that chest to lift. Really finding that lovely movement through upper back into extension. I want you to think about those elbows keeping nicely close to the rib cage and imagine them pulling down towards the sides of your thighs. Keeping your shoulders down and away from your ears. Two more for me. Exhale, lower. And that last one we're gonna hold. Let's stay here. We're gonna hover the left arm, then the right. We're gonna reach both arms out to the center and we're gonna elbow bend the ribs. Reach, inhale, exhale, bend. Eight more. Seven. Trying to keep that chest bone lifted. Six, as those elbows tuck down, lift the chest a little higher. Five. Four. Really nice. Three. You got it, last two. Last one. Release the palms to the mat. Bring your head, neck and shoulders all the way down. And now walk your palms Open forward in front of your head so that you can rest your forehead now down on top of your arms. We're going to take it just to the legs for a minute. So from here, keeping basically your lower back again nice and stable on the mat itself, you're going to try and allow that hip to extend. So you're going to think about your bum muscle lifting the leg away from the mat and then slowly control all the way back down. So your bum muscle kicks in to lift your thigh bone, your knee, and release. All the while you're keeping nice and relaxed through the rest of your body. Awareness through the chest, shoulders, head is heavy through the arms. Keeping your breath going, really utilizing that bum muscle to lift your leg activating through hip extension and trying to keep that lower back as quiet as we can. If you're finding it quite difficult to keep your lower back out of the equation, you can send a pillow or a rolled up towel underneath your pubic bone to allow your lower back to come into mild flexion. So that way it won't want to extend as much and more of the movement will come from kind of the top part of your hip into the base of your pelvis. Good job. Are we starting to notice a little bit of fieriness now through the glute and possibly also through the hamstring? From here then I want you to lift the leg and hold. Keeping the knee lifted away from the mat, I want you to bend your heel in towards your bum and you're going to extend away. Keep the knee away from the mat. In we come. So we're keeping that tension through your glute and away. Good. Bend in and out and in for four and away and in for three keep that knee lifted we've got two more you got it and away last time you're going to hold in i want you to dorsiflex the foot so the foot now is parallel to the ceiling you're going to give me a tiny little pulse of the heel four three two and one, releasing that left leg. Taking a moment just to become more aware <laughs> of what's happening now through the system. Probably more aware of that left leg than you are that right, so let's even it out. This time, it's the right glute muscle that's gonna do the work here. And tap, and again, inhale, and release. Again, that lower back staying nice and neutral. 
a little lift of that belly button away from the mat up into the center of the body to allow that lower back to stay out of the equation here out of that movement we're isolating that hip Maybe noticing a little bit more movement on one side compared to the other. Some people are quite stiff um, in and around the hip joint, possibly on one side more than the other. And it really depends on whether it's the active side, like your dominant side, or your non-dominant side. Other people have had injuries, etc., etc. I'm noticing a little bit more hip extension on my right hand side find that my knee is lifting away from the mat just a little bit more which is absolutely fine but again making sure that it's not coming from my lower back okay so really honing in around that area trying to find out where that energy is coming from <laughs> good job six more for me and five well done and four bringing total awareness to that hip two more on that last one then we lift and hold Time for the bend, in, and lengthen, in, well done, and out, six more, and out, and five, really relax through that upper torso, four, three, working through that hamstring, two, well done, almost there, bring it in on that last one, Dorsey flex the toes, flatten the sole of the foot, here we go, six, five four three two and release <laughs> really nice from here then we're going to lengthen out through the arms thumbs are going to be up towards the ceiling you're going to allow a little lift of the head neck and chest bone away from the mat and let's engage through the palms here and line them up with the shoulders then allowing what we've just done both ankles and feet and knees to move away from the mat we're going to start to swim opposites moving together right and left left and right ten nine eight chest is up seven six five four three last two and one and release Bringing it all the way up and away from the mat. Let's just find a small little child's pose position or puppy pose, whatever you prefer here. Tailbone up the ceiling or down and away to your heels. By all means, just do what you feel your body is wanting, requesting right now. Excellent stuff. And from here, we're gonna take it into a seated position. We're gonna come down with our bum and our feet are gonna be that lovely two thirds away from us, okay? Feet are flat and we've got this lovely seated position up on top of our sit bones, chest and shoulders, nice and wide and open. From here, we're gonna send the arms forwards. You know, we love a roll down. Let's take it pubic bone towards the belly button. Rolling away, all the way down, nice and slowly, reaching the arms up and over the top of the head opening the rib cage to the ceiling then from here send the hands up tuck the chin in pull the rib cage down and in towards your abdominal space to engage those abdominals so that you can track and lift yourself nice and slowly to that seated position again good four more roll away now at your own pace you're going to settle into this movement think about that spine massaging itself all the way down on the mat find your extension and then re-engage to lift Well done. Excellent job, Reach. And you got it last time, rolling away. Reaching up. Pull the rib cage away from the mat. Then re-engage and come up halfway for me. So keeping that pubic bone tucked up and underneath you, our arms are staying forwards and our chest has this lovely open line. From here, we're gonna to switch to open our right hand, reaching back towards the back right corner and return. So you're gonna try and twist now through the rib cage and chest. Really opening that position or that space between both arms, finding that rotation 
and that rotation isn't necessarily just coming from the arms it's really happening from the rib cage so if i was to keep my arms really stable and work from side to side i'm really trying to pull my left rib cage down towards left side and the same with my right and it just so happens that my arms are an extension of my rib cage so that's what's happening as i'm reaching away good six more five and four pubic bone stays up three keeping that tension two well done last time bringing it back to center from here our arms are going to reach to the ceiling right leg's going to come to tabletop you're going to lengthen and then as you bend that right knee you're going to bring the arms down either side of that leg so reach out and return good we've got five and return we've got four keeping the pubic bone lift it to the belly button two and one from here reach back out and now you're going to rotate to the right hand side as that knee bends so that left elbow is coming to the outside of your right thigh and five and four shoulder to knee last two there we go last one excellent and return lift yourself up sitting tall on top of your tailbone and just give yourself a little squeeze before we come to the opposite side okay from here sitting tall reach the arms away tuck the pubic bone under and roll behind your sit bone staying here here we go, arms to reach. Left leg to tabletop, we lengthen away. We bend and we slide the hands down either side of the leg. Five. And four, well done. And three, you got it. And two, last time. Are you ready for your rotation? Lengthen, here we go, rotate over. almost there five more right arm comes to the outside of that left thigh three two one and really sitting tall and we squeeze we are almost there okay sitting back roll away elbows come now behind our shoulders so we have a little bit more opening now through the chest okay that pubic bone is going to try and tuck itself underneath us again and our palms are going to come flat to the mat right leg to tabletop then left we're going to send double legs long and return double leg reach and return good and again lengthen return and eight and seven really nice keep pushing down through those elbows so that you don't lose your neck keeping that chest nice and open four more three we're sitting at the back of that pelvis two and one really nice from here bringing your hands to the backs of your thighs if you can and roll your spine all the way down Keeping those legs in tabletop position, we're gonna lengthen now to the ceiling. You're gonna grab a hold of your right thigh. You're gonna send your left leg all the way down and I want you to lift your chest towards your right thigh, holding your chest exactly where it is, and then we switch. And switch, scissor kicks, switch and switch and as those legs come in towards your chest you're trying to lift your chest a little higher really squeezing those abdominals eight seven six five four and three and two and one and release head neck and shoulders feet are flat to the mat and lengthen those legs all the way out in front let's send the arms all the way up towards the ceiling 
tuck the chin down, find your roll up, keeping yourself nicely rounded all the way up and over the tops of your thighs and your feet, coming into your spine stretch. Allow the toes now to come back towards you. See if you can grip your feet, your toes, the bases of your ankle, and find that lovely stretch. Trying to push the spine out through the back of the body. Nicely rounding, feeling that stretch all the way up the backs of the thighs. Excellent work. Alrighty, we're almost there. From here, we're gonna come up into our four point kneeling position. Okay, so in this position, we're gonna start into a little bit of side openers. So we're gonna find four point kneeling, settle into our spine and our neutral pelvis, and then walk those knees back so that they're at a 45 degree angle roughly and our chest and pelvis is gonna drift slightly forwards. Okay, then from here, right hand is gonna come into the center. We're gonna bring our right and left knees together. So we're a little bit narrower than a half plank position. And then from here, you're gonna rotate open onto your right knee and shin bone, keeping that lovely kind of 45 degrees. I'm just gonna walk my hand a little bit further in so I'm nicely supported. And that rib cage is lifted up and into the center of the body. So I have this lovely long line between my shoulder and my knee, okay? It's not directly under my hip, it's at an angle, all right? Left leg is nice and long. I'm gonna send my left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. From here, I'm gonna bring my left knee and my elbow together. And I'm gonna reach all the way out, but I'm not gonna lower them to the mat. I'm gonna bend here and I'm gonna reach and bend really nice and reach. So a little bit of side body work here. And bend, keeping the bottom rib cage towards the chest, centered as much as you can. Five and four, three and two and one, lengthen out, rotate the palm towards now the thigh and we're gonna send the palm down as we keep the thigh lifted, yeah? Down, so that thigh staying in line with the hip, press the arm down and lift, down. Really nice, five, whoo, four, my left leg is tiring, really nice. And three, try to keep it up. And two, last one from here, left leg's all the way, going to go all the way down. And we're gonna send the left hand down so that we can come down onto our right elbow, okay? A little bit of rotations now through that left hand side. So we're gonna tuck left under, finding that rotation and then open out. And again, down and underneath. And open and down and open. Really twisting shoulder to the mat. Four more. Opening, keeping the right rib cage lifted. Three, right hip stays up. Two, almost there. Last time, excellent. Sit the right hip all the way down. Bring the knees to the left hand side and let's take a stretch all the way on that right hand side. Excellent stuff. Okay, you know what's happening? We're coming over to the other side. <laughs> here we go. So from here, left palm, left knee, and it's at an angle. It's not directly underneath that hip and that right, whoop, that right foot is planted at this very moment in time. Right hand up to the ceiling, left rib cage is sinking up the way into our chest bone. Here we go, lift, tap. Now you're gonna feel that right hand side is already awake, okay, because we've been using it as our stabilizer as we move the opposite side. Crunch and reach, thinking length all the time as you reach away from the body. Five, four, lovely stuff. Three, and two. Here we go, last time, reach. Let's try and hold that right leg. Press the palm, and reach, 
and press. Reach, six, five. Oh, the burn in that right glute. And four, three, keep the tempo, two, oh, last time. Here we go, right leg to plant, right hand down, elbow underneath the shoulder. Okay, we're taking it into those rotations. We're rotating right arm underneath and we open it. Left rib cage, lifting consistently to the center of that body. <laughs> Dipping, tailbone's gonna try and rotate upwards as we rotate that right hand under. Four more. Three, you got it. Two, last time. Open, left hip down, knees to the right, and we side bend. Ooh, excellent stuff. Okay, four point kneeling position. Tuck those toes underneath. Downward dog position. Okay, let's find a little hip lift, right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Hold. Press the left calf, heel to the floor. Now from here, bend into right knee and bring it forwards. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch my position. But from here, we're gonna walk into low lunge and then switch and open into our sumo squat, okay? So I'm gonna start in this position. So low lunge, down, open, hips wide. Here we go, low lunge and open. Low lunge and open, really nice. So we're twisting that back knee so that it's coming between a lunge position and this lovely wide whew, sumo squat. Try not to fall over. <laughs> Balance is key here. Low lunge and open, really nice. Five more. Four. Three. Twist and open that chest. Two. We're holding open in our sumo squat. We're taking it low, tiny pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and switch. Right side, down, good, open, down. Really nice, open it. Down, good, oh, the burn. Five, four, almost there. Three, two, here we go. Open out, pulse, 10, nine, shoulders down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Oh, breathe in. Roll the spine, chest, tailbone to the sky, feet nice and wide, turned out, knee bend, nice and low with the hips, palms to center, open into rotations, right arm to the ceiling, and return, left, right, oh those inner thighs are burning, four more, Three, you got it. Two, excellent job. Last one, return. Lengthen the legs, shimmy the feet all the way in to the palms. Softly bend the knees. Relax head, neck, shoulders, round the spine. Here we go, rolling up, tailbone down underneath. Pelvis on top of hips, ribs on top of pelvis. Shoulders on top of ribs, head and neck lift. Hands to the ceiling. Exhale, press the air away. Shrug those shoulders. And that is it for another class. Oh my God, that time flew by. I really hope you enjoyed that little bit of a total body class. Um, a little bit more core 
um, but hopefully you feel a little bit more aware generally of those deep stabilizers. So I hope you enjoyed. As always, please hit the subscribe button, give the, the video a thumbs up or pop a comment down below. And I will see you here again on the mat tomorrow for day 10. We're in double digits. We're on a roll now. All right, have a good day. See you later.